It's CenturyLink scouting report time on SoundersFC.com. I'm Arlo White. Now the Seattle Sounders will take a seven-match unbeaten run down the I-5 for the second big derby of the season against the Portland Timbers. A lot of the talk, as you'll remember, after the first game in May, a 1-1 draw at CenturyLink Field was all about set pieces. Now Portland have a player who delivers a great ball into the box in dead ball situations, but they've also been known to concede goals under similar circumstances this season. Jack Dewsbury arrived in Portland on the eve of the new season. He takes a super dead ball. He's technically very proficient at it, and he's actually more effective when the ball is in a central position. So beware the Sounders giving away free kicks in central positions inside their own half. Let's get this one out of the way first. Second half, Seattle protecting a 1-0 lead. Lovely delivery, edge of the six-yard box, and footy Danso. Scores a goal to level it up at 1-1. This is a carbon copy the week before. Another great service to the edge of the penalty area. That man again, Footy Danso, flicks it in. It's so difficult for goalkeepers to get out and to punch clear. Look at the curl on that ball. He really wraps his foot around it, Jack Dewsbury. And that's a terrific goal. This is a 3-3 draw against the New York Red Bulls. And this service goes to the far post. And it's Brunner who heads it in for Kevin Goldthwaite to score with a spectacular back flick. That was excellent. Jack Drewsbury from those central positions delivers such a teasing ball into the centre. It's curling but it's straight. All it needs from a, an attacking player, even though it's a defender often, is just to get a flick on and let the ball do the work and the pace of the ball do the work. And that's what makes goalkeepers almost frightened to come out and try and claim the ball. Because if they miss by an inch, the attacker gets in, flicks it on, uses the pace of the ball and it's in the back of the net before you know it. But Jack Dewsbury is also very effective in wide positions. Let's take a look at this. Against Sporting Kansas City, it's a decent delivery, good enough that Jimmy Nielsen can't get it clear. Look at this, Darlington Nabby, couple of flick-ups and a shot into the top corner. MLS goal of the week and an absolutely superb strike for his first goal in Major League Soccer. But again, it was sort of created by Jack Dewsbury. He's not just a provider, this is against New York. He loiters on the edge of the area for those long throw-ins and that's a wonderful drive into the bottom corner in that 3-3 draw. So we know that Dewsbury, Danso and co are very dangerous from set-piece situations and the Sounders need to be aware. The Sounders' defence has been excellent in recent weeks and they will be ready, there's no question about that. But what about Portland defending set-pieces? Are they on good form in that area of the game? Well, as we know, Seattle's output offensively from set pieces has improved dramatically over recent matches. And I think they'll take encouragement from Portland's form defending set pieces. They were hit by an early double whammy by FC Dallas a few weeks ago in a 4-0 defeat. So let's break that down. Dallas corner swung in, back post. It's missed by Perkins. Zach Lloyd heads it into the back of the net. 1-0 to FC Dallas. Moments later... Here comes the corner again, a flatter delivery, a shorter delivery. George John, the former UW defender, he heads clear. Look at him here as we pause it, and he powers his way past Kenny Cooper. They're too passive here, Portland, and it's a great header in the end. And Perkins gets a hand on it, but in the end, no chance. Against Sporting Kansas City, super Dewsbury-style free kick from Zussi to the back post. No one on Aurelien Collin, the French defender. Now, I think Collin served notice there, and he warned Portland about his aerial prowess. What I'm about to show you isn't a set piece as such. It's a long throw in, but still very dangerous and a good way of scoring goals. Just have a look at the Portland defence here, because I think, once again, they're too passive. They're not attacking the ball. Here comes the throw in then, into the penalty area, and we'll stop it there. Sarpong gets the faintest of touches, but really, it's a crime that this ball is allowed to bounce in the penalty area. We'll play it on. There's Colin. The ball's on his, on his head there. There. Look at these three defenders. One, two, three, all on the heels, not attacking the ball. We'll play it on and into the back of the net it goes. And Kansas City in the end won that game by two goals to one. Now Portland have conceded 14 goals in their last six matches in Major League Soccer. We're all getting very excited about Mauro Rizal as our new Argentine right winger. Very pacey, very tricky and a superb character. And he will take advantage of any mistakes by the Portland defence down the left-hand side. 
Rodney Wallace is a highly rated left back. He came over in pre season in a trade with DC United in exchange for Dax McCarty. But Wallace may miss out on Sunday with a knee injury that he suffered in training during the week. Now, John Spencer will hope that whoever replaces him on Sunday plays with a little more energy than Wallace has displayed in recent weeks. So let's take a look at a game against FC Dallas. So Dallas are building down the right-hand side, leading by two goals to nil. That ball goes high down the right-hand side, but look at here. Rodney Wallace has decided to step up here. He thinks it's going short to Jackson, but he gets caught out. The ball goes over the top of him. Just look at Rodney Wallace's reaction and the lack of hustle in getting back to help his fellow defenders. Let's play it on. Jackson away down the right-hand side. He gets the ball here. Footy Danso, the centre-back, has been dragged out. Rodney Wallace isn't even in shot at the moment and it's almost 3-0 and we're going to pause it just here. Rodney Wallace, he's a right back in the shot and in the penalty area. His captain here will highlight Jack Dewsbury has got the hands on the hips looking at his left back wondering what on earth is going on. I'm going to show you an incident from the FC Dallas game. You tell me, is Rodney Wallace really challenging for the ball here when the throw-in comes in? Let's have a look. Here it comes down the line and we will pause it just there. There's a flick on here by the FC Dallas midfielder and Rodney Wallace is just kind of behind him jumping a little bit for almost for appearances sake. I don't think he's really challenging for that ball. Let's play it on a little bit and find out the consequences here. It's another flick on amid, amid another big challenge though this time by Danso and away goes Jackson, slides it through to Alexander, Alexander onto the post and the man of the moment Breck Shea comes in to score a very very good goal for FC Dallas but it all started really with that lack of a challenge from Rodney Wallace. Now against Sporting Kansas City, admittedly Portland are chasing an equaliser here and into your shot here, we'll pause it, comes Rodney Wallace. He's kind of trotting back. Zussi gets the ball on the left-hand side here for Sporting Kansas City. We'll pause it just there. Look who's available. Omar Bravo. Not even noticed by Rodney Wallace here, who's just trotting back, lollygagging if you like. And Zussi in the end decides to shoot and the ball goes over the bar. John Spencer has limited options at fullback to replace Rodney Wallace. The Sounders, I'm sure, have spotted this and the midfielders, whenever they get the ball, will be looking to the right-hand side just to see what sort of space Mauro Rosales has created for himself down there. So the kickoff at Geldwen Field is at 1pm Pacific time on Sunday afternoon. The match is live on ESPN. I'll have the call on News Talk 97.3 Cairo FM. If you're heading down the I-5, have a wonderful trip, have a safe trip, and let's hope the Sounders can bring back three points. That was your CenturyLink scouting report for SoundersFC.com. I'm Arlo White.